Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel and blog today with another simple card. In total this card took me about 20 minutes to make so it's really easy. I did forget to film the start of this video but I just die cut the Big Sun die by Reverse Confetti out of yellow cardstock and ones out of thick white cardstock. I layered those together just with some liquid adhesive and then I ink blended some orange on there to add some shading and depth. For my background, I am working directly on my card base, which is something I normally don't do. Don't know what possessed me today, but um, yeah, I took the risk. <laughs> it's not really a big risk, but I just never work on my card bases, mostly actually because this paper is not made for ink blending. I am surprised how well this worked. Um, so I just ink blended some teal on there for a sky background, a really summery card is what I'm making today. So I just blended it down about a third of the way from the top. I really like this card layout. I don't normally do things just at the top of my card, but I always like it when other people do it, so I thought I'd try it today. So a great design technique or a design thing to keep in mind is working in thirds and if you place something on the upper or lower third of your card it's going to look a little bit more balanced than if you just put something in the center. I'm stamping one of the sentiments from the Ice Cream Social stamp set by Reverse Confetti on uh, the card base in Versify and Onyx Black and I am adding some embossing powder to this. This is WOW Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder and once you heat set it, the uh, stamping looks a lot more black, a lot more crisp and super glossy. It's just a really fun look. I love embossing powder so I will also be embossing this next stamp. I chose the bunny for my focal image. I knew exactly what this card was going to look like but I wasn't sure if I was going to use the bear or the bunny yet. They're both so cute. Eventually I chose the bunny because I thought the gray would contrast more nicely with the yellow of the sun than I thought the brown would if I colored the bare brown. So the way I do this with my stamps, I like coloring with alcohol markers, but alcohol markers and embossing powder don't mix together. So if you want to emboss your image, you have to do it after your coloring. So I first stamp in some alcohol marker friendly ink, then I color my image. My stamp has been left in my Misty, so it's still in the same spot. When I'm done coloring, I can slide my piece of paper right in that exact corner of my Misty. So the stamp is going to line up perfectly again with my image and I can stamp it again in an ink that I can emboss with. So my outline of my image is going to match the embossed sentiment perfectly. It's going to look crisp, black and glossy. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. I am going to stamp this again in Versify and Onyx Black add some embossing powder as well. Uh, again, this is the Wow Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder and then I can heat set that too and that's going to finish my focal image. You can die cut this out, there are coordinating dies available. I don't have them so I just fussy cut it out. It's really easy to fussy cut out these images. I want to adhere the sun in the upper left corner of my card. So I'm adding some glue to a portion of the sun. Obviously not all of it is going to be glued down on the card. I'm going to trim off the excess with some scissors. I first cut out my short scissors from Tim Holtz, but I realized it would be a lot easier to do this with the long shears. If you have larger scissors, they're a lot more uh, better equipped to trim off pieces that hang over the edge of your card. I'm going to do the same with the center of the sun, again gluing it down and uh, trimming it off with my shears. All that's left to do then is to adhere my focal image, my cute little bunny. I put some foam tape on the back of it and then I just adhere that right onto the sun. The sun creates a really fun backdrop and a really fun thing that draws the eye towards your focal point as well. 
I'm finishing it off with some gold gems from Pretty Pink Posh. Uh, I really love the gold with the sun and I am fussing around with the placement quite a bit. I always do this for a while. Um, usually they say to try and add groups of three of your gems or your embellishments, but sometimes I find that two is plenty, so I only use two at the top of the bunny, but they are all connected to the focal image in some way. So um, again, these embellishments are meant to draw the eye to your focal image. Uh, it wouldn't make much sense to me to adhere them uh, a mile away from my focal image, so I always try to stick around my focal image when I'm trying to figure out the placement for my embellishments. That finishes up this card. It's really, really simple, but I love the layout just using that top third of the card. It's such a different way to make a card, especially for me. I know other people do this all the time, but um, I never do. I always use the bottom third. I hope you like this card. I hope you like the video. It's a short one today, but I'll be back next week with another one. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.